detail on the, it was the first version of this bill, right? It was free speech on campus, part one. Um, and he, we didn't know each other. And someone said, well, send, put Steinbuck on the email exchange. He, he, you know, he's a big mouth. He'll give you a comment. Um, and he puts me on. Uh, and he says, "Here's a take a look at my bill. And he crafted something. It was in very much in the initial phases. And he had input. And you know, people helped him put it together. He didn't write it all himself. And I uh, said, you know, what do you think of this? And uh, I read it, and I wrote back, I think it's lousy. And, and he said, who is this guy? I don't even know who this guy Actually, is. he said it's the worst thing I've ever said. Even, <laughs> even better. Even better. Um, and uh, uh, to his credit, uh, he wrote me back, and he said, um, he didn't say, I don't want to hear from you, uh, or you don't know what you're talking about. He said, when can you meet? That's what he said, when can you meet? And I said, well, I don't know, soon. And he goes, no, no, we need to meet. And I went down and met him in the Capitol, and we went through, and I told him what I thought the problems with the bill were and, and what was good about the bill. And we approved the bill. Um, and, and it was because he had several people giving comments, some of whom were being a little disingenuous about what they wanted to bring about. And it's those you know, sort of consumer protection laws that don't protect any consumers. And so some sections of the original version had those problems. And we fixed it, and he wanted to fix it. He wasn't offended, and by the way, if he was offended, so be it. A better product came out uh, as a consequence of that. Is that a fair description of the of the of the narrative? Yes, I, yeah. I think I was. You didn't see my face when I read your comment, so I can, <laughs> I can make that face right now. What I looked like when I had somebody uh, challenge me like that, but you know, you get used to it. After today's uh, bill ran, the library bill, you know, I had people calling me, calling me a fascist. Uh, old gray-headed geezer, an old man. Don't raise your hand if you agree with that. But they, the name calling is just incredible. And you know, if you're not prepared for that, you're probably not really prepared to be an attorney. Because it gets, you gotta be able to stand, defend your argument, make your argument, and not be offended. You know, in the legislature, we will fight against each other uh, hard on a bill, as we did in committee today. And tomorrow, we're on the same side of a bill. And we're speaking for each other's bill, and I, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to kill it because it's my own bill. But you know, you, those kind of thoughts go through your mind. You know, how do you get back at people? What are you going to do to even the score? And as a legislator, that's you can't think that way, and you can't think that way with your fellow legislators, nor can you think that way with your constituents, because we're on the same side and we're on the opposite side. And I really enjoy these kinds of debates. And you know, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you. I've got all kinds of notes here, uh, and I want to make those cases. And if you want to come down and speak on this bill, uh, it's going to happen probably next week or so. I'm going to leave some of my cards on the table, and if you want to take one, give me a shout. Uh, again, I just I enjoy, Rob and I talk three or four times a day on different bills going through, and uh, it's, it's appreciated when you have people who are in that position and you say, what do you think about this? I want you to consider what this is doing. We'll agree or disagree. But again, thank you for coming. And if, uh, oh, we have a few. Did we get you, Mr. No, Go ahead, Mr. Mekovic. I was just going to say, I, I have a whole different perspective.